You've always wanted to have horses on your own property and you think how amazing it would be to be able to ride them whenever you want. Have you ever heard the term herd bound? In this video, I'll explain the problem of only having two horses. Let's dive in. Initially, when we bought Mocha, she was boarded at a facility and she would easily separate from her herd. We would often take her from the group and we would brush her and just spend time with her in an arena and she had no issues at all. When the facility sold that she was boarded at, we decided to just bring her home. I had no plans of buying a second horse when Mocha came here. Now, she stayed alone for a probably about six months before we bought Peanut. The problem with horses is it seems you can't just have one and then the search was on for a second one. After Peanut arrived, the one thing that I noticed is Mocha finally had an opportunity to let her guard down. When Mocha was here by herself, she was outside 24 seven. We hadn't put stalls in at that point. When I look back, once Peanut arrived, she finally had an opportunity that she could let her guard down. She would lay down for long periods of time. And what that meant is that she had been exhausted because she was on guard all the time. When she was living here by herself, she never got an opportunity to get that really good REM sleep that she needed. Her being here on her own, she needed to be aware of her surroundings at all times. Horses naturally live in herds when they live in the wild. Even though horses are large animals, they're still considered prey animals. Living in herds provides horses companionship as well as protection. Some horses do prefer to live alone, but for the most part, they prefer company. If a second horse isn't an option, you can also consider other companions like cows, donkeys, even miniature horses. But remember with miniature horses, they can also be escape artists and they have big attitudes. Do your research, talk to some people, even on Facebook groups that have had some experience with minis because they can definitely test your fences. Keep in mind that all animals require care and different animals require different feed requirements compared to your horses. Don't rush to find a companion for your horse. It needs to be the right fit. If horses live alone, they can become depressed and even withdrawn. It's just because they're lonely. Horses can't talk, so you need to be able to read their body language. They might start to pace, they could refuse to eat, and they even might start to crib, which means they'll start chewing on wood. You need to monitor them and notice any sort of changes in their behavior. You'll just get to know your individual horse's behavior just from those daily interactions. When we bought Peanut and Peanut's the guy back there, I really didn't consider that we wouldn't be able to separate them. I figured as long as one was in the paddock and they had hay that they would be content, but that was not the case at all. Separating our two horses caused problems for both of them. The one that was left in the paddock was upset. It wanted to be with the other one. And the horse that I was going to ride and take out of the paddock was also upset because they wanted to be with each other. When we separate our horses, instant panic sets in for both of them. The problem with Mocha is if Mocha is the one that's left in the paddock, she races the fence lines and I'm really afraid that she's gonna hurt herself. The bottom line is, is because they're so herd bound, they're always trying to get to each other. Overcoming herd bound behaviors really takes a lot of patience and consistency. You have to understand how they're feeling and why they're doing the things they're doing. You really need to make sure that each horse is safe when you're exposing them to new situations. A good thing to try is to start slow, even just take one horse just outside the fence. You could groom them out there. It gives them time to be separate from each other, but still close together. It's just another way to just separate them a little bit, still showing them that they're safe. Creating this positive experience when your horse is separated from the herd will help them to feel more secure. This does become more challenging when you only have two horses because you only have a tiny herd. This is why you'll often see, I got my horse a horse, I got my horse's horse a horse, I got my horse's horse a horse, and so on. You get the picture. Learning about your horse's fears will help you develop an incredible bond with your horse. If you're interested in buying a horse, make sure you check out the video on your screen right now. In that video, I will explain some mistakes that often are made by first time horse buyers. If you're not interested in buying a horse, YouTube thinks you might like this video instead. Make sure if you found this video helpful that you do click the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.